blessed child of god it's great for me to be back with you once again on feet and five my name is paula we want to hear what god is saying to us right now feet and five is designed to boost you build you strengthen you and encourage you in the feet to live this life to glorify and honor the lord jesus christ our scripture reading is taken from book of acts chapters 19 verses 1 to 7 grab your bibles get a notepad and a pen take some notes let's read now amen while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul took the road through the interior and arrived at Ephesus. There he found some disciples and asked them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? They answered, No, we have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. So Paul asked then, What baptism did you receive? Why did Paul ask what baptism did you receive? Because, beloved, there are two baptisms. Hold on. Verse 3. So Paul asked, then what baptism did you receive? John's baptism, they replied. Paul said John's baptism was a baptism of repentance. Remember that water, the water baptism means to repent, that you have repented. He told the people to believe in the one coming after him, that is, in Jesus. John himself was saying this. On hearing this, they were baptized into the name of the Lord Jesus. When Paul placed his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came on them and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. They were about 12 men and all. Let's stop right there and see the high points. You want to write this down. Notice as Paul mentioned the name Jesus and as Paul said, John the Baptist was always referring the people to Jesus. Notice the disciples, the 12 men received the manifestation that follows with the name Jesus, with the baptism of Jesus, which is the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Do you believe the Holy Spirit? That's my question to you. He comes with fire, not with water. Do you believe the Holy Spirit? I read again. He comes with fire. Write this down. Put your fire on it, Lord. What am I here to say to you prophetically? Fire is visiting your situation, your problem, your circumstances, the position that you are in. You have the water. What I'm here to say to you is you have the water already, what you need. In your problem, in your situation, in your finances, in your economy, in the in your body with, with that physical ailment, you have the water already. What you need is the fire of God. Amen. Write that down. What you never heard about, what you don't know about, you cannot have. You see, these 12 disciples, these 12 men, they heard about that water baptism repentance, repentance that John was preaching but they had not known of, experienced or heard of the fire which comes with the name Jesus. What you do not know about, you cannot receive. And I'm here to let you know, fire of God, the baptism of the Holy Ghost is coming to you right where you are at. Receive it now in your problem, in your marriage, in your situations, in your shortcomings, in your limitations, in your finances. What you never heard about, what you don't know about, you cannot have. Why did Paul ask what baptism? Because there are two baptisms. Remember I told you that. One, the water. Two, the fire. You have the water already. What are you going to get now is the fire. I speak the fire of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit, that is Jesus himself, in his spirit form, into your body, into your life, into your situation. In this story, inside of you, in this situation, in this circumstance, in everything that is taking place of your life, in your life right now. The fire of God, the Holy Spirit, notice I'm on repeat there. I need to get this word to you for you to understand. Fire is visiting your household right now as you look at me. Fire, not just any fire, holy fire. The Spirit of God, the Spirit of Jesus himself, the fire is coming at you, beloved. Believe it. Receive it now. John's baptism means to repent. That's the water. Jesus' baptism means to be empowered. And you want to write that down. Stick it up on your bedroom. Jesus' baptism, that fire baptism, it means to be empowered, to receive power from on high, to receive supernatural power. You see, the natural cannot bring you the answers. It needs the super on top of it for you to get that result. Amen, beloved. John's, Jesus' baptism means to be empowered, to receive power, to receive the Holy Spirit with fire. 
the Holy Spirit, how do you, do you know that you have the Holy Spirit in real for true? The fire is going to come at you, beloved. Amen. The fire, the fire, you will not lack power thereof. When you pray, you will have authority, you will have confidence. You will call for what you want and you will get just that. John looked to Jesus. John looked to Jesus. That is what the scripture said. Pretty he told them to look to Jesus. The water is not enough. You see, John knew he was not enough. He was representing the water baptism. John knew he was not enough. So he told the people, look to Jesus. Okay? And Jesus is more than enough, overflowing, never ending. We can't put a full stop there. So the man who was the not enough told the people to look to the, to the man who is the son of God, who is more than enough. The water is not enough. You will need the fire. You see, that's a problem in some of our lives, in some people's lives. They believe to the point of the water. Only the John the Baptist, baptism, gospel, repentance, and preaching. What they miss is the fire. And I don't want you to miss out on that, beloved. Amen. God is sending you a pair of hands. Paul laid his hands on them and it happened. God is sending you a pair of hands to help in this situation. I'm your pair of hands right now. Receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire the Holy Ghost on top of your situation, your life right now. You will know what to say. You will have a new speech. They began to speak in tongues. What does that say to you? You will have a new speech in this situation. You will finally know what to tell that person, what to say. You will write that book. You will have that poem. You will know what to say. You will declare. You will proclaim. You will command. Open your mouth. You will prophesy with this fire. You will have power. Be blessed until we meet again. Bye. Share this video with someone. Be blessed, beloved.